Lads, what's going on? Gonf here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a FIFA Ultimate Team Hybrid Squad Builder. Going to be toning it down slightly, just a little bit, because I'll be reading through a lot of my comments on YouTube, and a lot of you are actually saying the same thing. Gonf, tone the teams down a little bit, you know, make them a little bit more ex affordable for us to afford, and, you know, just mix it up a little bit. Have your expensive teams one day, and have, like, affordable teams that we can afford and make ourselves another day. And I know I said I was going to do this before, but I have got very carried away on making my expensive teams, because they're so fun to make. But today... I've made you a team that I think is, in in our day and age, is acceptable. 100,000 coins for a team is very acceptable, considering it's so easy to get your hands on coins. You can get them from just playing games. And I just thought 100,000 coins is good enough. If that's too expensive, you know what to do. Leave me a comment, and I'll if enough people complain about the same thing, I'll get busy and do something about it. But first, in goal, to start off this team, lads, we have got, we're off with just a huge bang. This guy... Is incredible. His name is Frederico Machetti. I'm sure that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not good with names. You already know this. But for 52k, you get an absolute... This guy isn't human. That's all I want to say right there. So he's not He's not a human being. He's a monster. In goal, the amount of saves this guy will make you is just stupid. He was making me double saves. He, he was... He, 88, ha 88 diving, 89 reflexes, 82 handling, 84 positioning. Everyone knows about his normal cards. His normal card was just stupidly overpowered and just ridiculous this one is even better trust me like i said his best trait was making double saves i'd like i wish i had some of them on record to show you but i'd like make one save and then he'd spring off and make like another save straight after he was making those ones say someone would have like a, a 30 yard shot that looked you thought oh, i was guaranteed go in it's a perfect shot no from nowhere machete would come and make some diving left-handed save on the right side i don't know do you know they, those ones where they put their hand over the top of them and they just look amazing for the cameras he was making those all over he's six foot two and trust me this guy is top 10 one of the best keepers on the game he is amazing i can only recommend him but status off our defense we're going to be using luis and maranto Pereira, the colombian guy in the L liga wait let me just double check liga mx yep that's right place for Cruz, as all of you are going to pick, looking to pick him up. This guy has 90 strength, 82 pace, 77 defending, and 79 heading. He's 5 foot 11, and he's got a freestyle weak foot. And I picked him up for 950 coins. That just says it all, really. This guy is the, one of the biggest, cheapest gems on FIFA Ultimate Team for a defender. I mean, 90 strength and 82 pace on a, on a centre back, and he's only worth 950 coins. Any of you can go and buy him. The, the reason that I'm wondering why he must have that price is because of the league and the nationality he is. It's hard to like build him in good hybrids and stuff. I'm not sure what it is, why he's so cheap. But what you get with this guy is a solid, solid centre-back. He plays perfect in the 3-5-2 uh, role in this defence. And he was just amazing. I loved using him. And uh, once again, I can really recommend him. So far, this team is looking pretty tasty. Then we've got one of my favourite standard non-rare cards. This team just gets better and better. Gambarini, what a player. Syria as well, so you can you can put him in so many different teams. 78 pace, 80 defending. He's got amazing strength. He's six foot one. He links up with God knows how many players. And you can pick him up for probably around about 2k. I picked him up for 2.6k. Just because I was being in a I was in a rush and being impatient. But what a player, man. He's solid. He, he's a great defender. He's got good defensive work. Like he's got good work rate. He stays in defense and does you the job. And he's just amazing all round it's such a solid center back partnership we've got here and to finish it off we're now going to have Dejuru. another this was probably one of the biggest shocks of the team i didn't expect this guy to perform how he did because i'm i swear to god i'm sure i had him when the game first came out and he was just absolute dreadful for me falling over all over the place clumsy couldn't make a challenge caught me if i'm wrong i'm not sure but i'm sure i did have him but this time round, he was he just seemed solid for me he was he his defending was good. He was cropping up in the box and scoring headers and stuff. He was just a good player. He's six foot four is also he's massive. You know, coming up against him, you're gonna shit yourself. Six foot four and black. <laughs> wow, and, and with 75 pace as well. He's just he, he's a monster for, in my opinion. He was he was solid and he fitted in perfect with the other two centre backs. And this four, the four of them were just absolute amazing. I mean, they just performed. I I conceded not many goals at all. And I mean, you're paying. Around about 1k for him, 2 2k for him, and about 950 coins for him. So you're paying about 3k for this centre back. These centre backs, and what you'll get is just absolute beast. Trust me, they, they will concede hardly any goals. 
But CDM, first off, to start us off, we have got Golkan Inla. Unfortunately, this guy just was a big, big letdown. Just didn't perform for me. He seemed weak. His passing wasn't good. Um, his defending, he didn't seem to defend well. I know he's got... I couldn't utilise his passing. He's 83 passing with a four-star weak foot because every time I got him on the ball, he just seemed to lose the ball. I just didn't get on with him. I think he was a big, big waste of coins, 16,000 coins, and he's an informed card as well. I can only tell you not to go anywhere near him because he's just not going to do anything for you. But if you're looking for him for chemistry purposes, I suppose you've got no other choice. But... Next to him then, we have got a breath of fresh air. This guy is an absolute tank. Sure, a lot of you know about Freddy Guerin already. He's a Syria Colombian guy who everyone goes for in centre mid or CDM because his stats are just incredible. I mean, eight, 75 pace, 80 shot, 81 pass, 79 defending, 80 dribbling and 76 heading. This ridiculous. And you, you can pick this guy up for around about 3 to 3.5k. He's 6 foot tall. He's got 88 strength. And he's just, a, he's got three star weak foot, and he's just a tank. He's strong, he's got good balance, he wins every battle, every slide tackle, and stuff like that. He's good at attacking, he's got a one hell of a long shot, and he, his pace is brilliant. He's just the perfect all round CDM. I think he's up there with the likes of like the Yaya Torres. I like Czech Tioti on this game as well. Those sort of players, because he's just an absolute beast, lads, and I can only recommend going and giving him a go. Try him out, I'm sure you will not be disappointed, trust me. But on the left side then, to get us started with our, well, with our left-sided player, we've got Zuniga. No racism intended, I'm black myself. This guy's got one of the most raving names on our team. Zuniga. <laughs> I, I don't know, but anyway, he's got 88 pace, 81 dribbling, 66 shots, 73 pass. He's got a, and he's good, he, he's got 72 defending, so, you know, he gets back, does the job. His hairline is absolute wild, I don't know what's going on in this picture. But in terms of how he played on the pitch... He was a good player. Up and down the wing, um, he's more suited to the left mid role, I've noticed, because he's got um, medium defensive work rate, I'm sure he have. So he gets back in defence. And for 900 coins, he's definitely worth going and giving a go. On the right side then, we've got someone, one of the stars of the show. This guy, I'm not sure how you pronounce that first name. I think it might be... No, I'm not even going to try it. But his second name is Shakiri. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. 87 pace, 86 dribbling, 74 shot. Left-sided, left-footed on the right side. What a tank. This guy performed. He's one of the most... I've noticed he, he just had some of the most flair I've ever seen on a, on a right-wing slash right-sided player ever. He just... He bounces off players. He's got good balance. His dribbling, his agility was amazing. He was he could finish as well. I know 74 shots not the best, but he could finish. And for a right-wing slash right-mid-sided player, 74 shot isn't bad. He could pass the ball. He's got four star weak foot as well. And he just created so much for the team. He's skillful. He was just amazing. And I loved him. And for 1,000 coins, go and get him now. He was amazing for me. Definitely worth going and giving a go. Then, centre attacking mid. We're getting to the end of this team now. But we have got Gotse. I really did want to go and get his informed version just to show off and give him a go. I haven't used his informed version yet. But his informed version alone is 200,000 coins and... If I remembered rightly, I did want to keep this team around about 100,000 coins. So you lock it, go and give it a go. But I was not disappointed with his normal standard card. His normal standard card was amazing. I've used him before. I've loved him before. 82 pace, 89 dribbling. 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. You've got to love the 4 star skills, skills, 4 star weak foot. That was a mouthful. On a centre attacking midfielder. You know, he can do everything. He can pass. He can shoot. His shot was a lot better than 71 shot. I've said that before as well. Uh... He's got great pace, and his dribbling is amazing. In real life, this guy is just, he's going to be one of the best players in the world in a few years. His girlfriend is absolute amazing. Go and type her in on Google Images now. Mario got his girlfriend. You will not be disappointed, trust me. But moving on anyway, lads, we have got our first striker. It's going to be Marco Royce. This guy was very, very similar to Gotte. They're, they're such similar players, actually. Uh, I've noticed that. I always get them confused and mixed up. But... The one thing Royce does have is the 90 pace. He is so, so fast. On the pitch, trust me, you notice how fast he is. He is ridiculously quick. 84 dribbling as well, and he can finish. He's got very, very good finishing. Four stats, four star skills, four star weak foot. I can't seem to get that out today. And uh, for 26k, he's definitely worth it. He even managed to crop up some headers for me, I've noticed. He was cropping up and scoring a few headers. He was just an amazing player, and he's going to be partnered with this guy. Star of the show. Wow, what a, I can't believe I've never used him before. Alexander S1. What a player. Straight away you can see that 90 pace. 
And then you think, hmm, 75 dribbling, 70 shot, not too good. This guy's shot, you'll see at the end from some of the goals I've scored, was mind-blowing. He seemed to score every time I blasted from outside the box. They were flying in. He, his shot power is amazing. His strength, he battles. This guy battles like never before. He's six foot tall. He's strong. Uh, he's aggressive. And he's got, unfortunately, he does only have three-star skills. But his four-star weak foot is amazing. He can score on any foot. And he was just, he scored me. He was a top goal scorer in this team. He scored so many goals. And for 1,700 coins, what a player. He was amazing. This whole team was just amazing. I loved it. It's definitely worth going out and giving it a go. You get two informs. You get amazing pace up front. They're both naughty pace. Um, you get a solid defense. And you just get such a good team for 100,000 coins. It's a balanced team with a bit of everything. So it's definitely worth going and giving it a go, lads. And uh, I've been gone. I'll speak to you next time. I'll leave you with some goals. Peace.